Well, like I said this morning, I think I'm you know, really proud of our coaching staff and the young men that we signed this morning it kind of went off without a hitch. Uh, you know, we were through for the most part, really, by nine. We had one that came in a little later than that. But, uh, you know, it, it was a kind of a dream way to do it, to where it, no drama, no not much going on. And uh, felt like we got a really good class, uh, the biggest class since I've been here as the head coach. We had more openings this year, more slots than we've ever had. And uh, I think we were able to hit a lot of key positions and get our numbers balanced to to the point to where I feel good about it that uh, each position we've got uh, close to the right number of people there to have some depth and some things moving forward so uh, a lot of players of the year in this class I, I was looking up we had uh, players of the year I think in three or four states uh, Tennessee uh, Louisiana Florida Georgia so at least four states we have the you know player of the year in, in the classifications in those states. So really excited about that and looking forward to uh, getting the rest of the class in here in June. You know, we had four early enrollees and uh, they're all doing well and have uh, you know gotten into the flow of things. So uh, couldn't be happier about how it went. You know, how much I guess credit goes to stability in your staff and you know a in the recruiting office and then b also just with in your staff on the defensive offside offensive side of the ball in terms of being able to build a class like this since these guys have been recruiting a lot of these kids since right. they were 15 or whatever yeah well i think anytime you have stability in the coaching staff it's certainly going to help you in recruiting because you build the relationships and and they're not you know built overnight uh so that certainly comes into play uh, you know Certainly, some coaches are in better areas than others, and uh, some of the guys that that we sign, uh, you know, the coach who's actually in that area that looks like they recruited them certainly got a lot of help from other people. But uh, it was a, a group effort. I think the whole staff did a good job, and uh, and like I said, anytime you have continuity, I think it's a good thing, especially in recruiting. I imagine one of the things you like about the class is you have a lot of versatility. Guys can play, you know, more than one position. Yeah, a lot of athleticism. I think uh, we we've got uh, some real speed guys. I think, which is something that we've really tried to point to, especially like at the offensive skill positions. A uh, little bigger guys, maybe in the defensive backfield at corner. A little longer, a little taller guys. Uh, you know, a couple of guys we think can be good pass rushers. And, uh, you know, I think just overall, uh, we addressed a lot of needs. We, we wanted to hit wide receiver. Uh, you know, this class was imperative. We got some guys there. And I think that with, uh, you know, the guys we were able to secure there at wide receiver, we helped ourselves a bunch too. So you got Harlan, who's already in school, who's a big, tall guy. Uh, Christian Philpot was the 2A player of the year in the state of Florida. Uh, you know, Brad Stewart was the player of the year in the state of Georgia. So there's a lot of guys that, that bring some credentials in at wide receiver that we think that can help us. And there's a couple of other guys actually in the signing class that could end up at wide receiver. Uh, you know, so I think there is some flexibility within the class. So, But overall, just good athleticism. Paul, I realize a lot of these guys had, had verbally committed a while ago. But that said, how much um, – to the season that you have, do you think played into you know the overall the class? And did you did it feel any different when you and your coaches were out talking to kids or you know around what they thought about the program? Well, most of the kids were committed before the season. I think if anything, it probably helped keep the class together. We didn't have as you know the all the negativity and the talking about flipping and 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 all that stuff. So. Anytime there's a positive environment going on and a positive attitude around the program, it's it's going to help. Uh, you know, winning the in-game state game helps when you go out to recruit. Uh, we you know we haven't won that game a lot, and and it helped. I mean, just the reception you receive and the people, and I think it enables a lot of the fans and uh, you know maybe the people that are on the bubble to come out a little more than what they might usually do. So uh, 
it w- we got a really good reception going out, and we were able to secure a lot of in-state kids, which uh, in each year, it, you know, we're going to try to make sure that we do a good job in-state, and we'd like to have in-state kids. That's not going to keep us from going out of state. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of good football players in the state of Georgia, really good high school football. Yeah, as a follow-up to, to that, I, we were just looking up last year's class, I think, was about even in terms of in-state, out-of-state. And this year, right. if I counted right, it's like 17 in-state and 10 out-state. Yeah. You, I think there's going to be years that this works like that. Uh, you know, we, uh, we got a lot of in-state kids committed early. Um, and, they were, you know, it was a good year, I think, in-state for players. So, uh, and our need this year, we, we were, you know, heavy skill-wise, like running backs, A backs, and there's a lot of those guys in the state. Uh, we were able to get, you know, four defensive linemen in state, uh, which helps. Uh, and a lot of times there's so many factors with grades, with just everything involved. Uh, it just so happened to be a, be a good year for us in state, and our coaches did a good job. Uh, I think having built relationships and and knowing the guys that we were recruiting early. Can you talk a little bit about this? Is a pretty impressive group of linebackers that you've signed with mm-hmm. those those three guys. That each bring a little something different to the table. Yeah, well, uh, as as you were talking about, uh, you, you know, Brant was I think Mr. Football in Tennessee two years in a row. Brant Mitchell, uh, I think he's more of a Mike box linebacker inside. Uh, I think Victor Alexander could play any of the linebacker spots. He's an explosive, really good athlete, and you know if you, you got to watch him on tape for about thirty seconds to realize that he's a really good football player. Explosive, runs through people. Uh, Tyler Cooks, he's got some length. He's a good blitzer. I think can be like a Sam linebacker, or possibly a box linebacker. So uh, those three guys. Uh, the Curry kid from Buford is kind of a hybrid, maybe space linebacker or strong safety drop-down guy who's a really good football player, good tackler. Uh, so I think it gives the defense a lot of bodies that they can work with to, to try to utilize. You mentioned Jalen. <clears throat> you mentioned Jalen Ratcliffe a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about? Uh, you know, how you kept up with him after his unfortunate accident and, and how he's – Yeah, we just stayed in touch and, and, you know, Coach Cook recruited and Jalen would call once he got out and was in the rehab. He'd call me once in a while and we'd talk. And, uh, it, you, you know, there was never an issue with Jalen. He knew right from the start that he was coming to Georgia Tech one way or the other. And uh, that's what I told him. So, uh, with the rehab, we you, you know, it's still ongoing. Who knows what's going to happen, but – you look at what he's been through and what he's what he's done, and, and I think it's amazing. So, uh, you know, I'm not counting him out from being able to come in here in January and start playing. Uh, it's like I told him, he's going to work his rehab as hard as he can, and he's going. We're going to plan on doing that, and if he don't, he'll be our assistant quarterback coach. So, either way, he's uh, he's going to have a good future.